Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Ulysse Norden Classic Dual Time. You can see this 1 of 500 18 karat rose gold dual time timepiece on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos, and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this watch with additional accessories included in the sale, high resolution images, and naturally complete pricing details for this dual time automatic manufacture caliper Ulysse Norden. Now on my wrist, 6 and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, you can see that this watch combines a bold modern case and dial combination with a time-tested Ulysse Norden tandem of complications, the grand date or the double digit date, and the plus minus dual time system. Let's start with the basic measurements. 42 millimeters across the round of the case is not inclusive of the plus minus pushers, the correctors for the dual time function, nor is it inclusive of the crown at three o'clock. Now in terms of thickness, the watch is actually quite svelte. 13 millimeters is very reasonable for an automatic complication. And you can see with the sloped case flank and the conical bezel, it really does slide easily underneath a tight cuff. Don't worry about those pushers. They're not as susceptible to getting your sleeve hung up as you might suspect. Now in terms of lug to lug dimensions, the watch is more compact than you might imagine. 49 millimeters from lug to lug, extremity to extremity, it actually spans my wrist quite naturally and the case itself, by virtue of those dramatically sloped lugs, has a little bit of camber, so it arcs over the wrist. Now, where it's going to fight you a bit, if you have a wrist much smaller than, I would say, 15 centimeters in circumference, is this strap. The strap is beautifully built and very substantial, but because it has that particular type of end shape that contours to the case, it's also slightly pinned against the case. No daylight. It's a very integrated, handsome look, but it also wants to flare a bit against the curve of your wrist. So again, I would say 15 centimeters in circumference is the acceptable lower limit for wearing this watch with security, but the strap is of incredible quality. Bolstered, beautifully made with a rich navy blue monotone stitch and folded edges. You can see it has central bolstering that tapers as it approaches the twin trigger actuated deploy and clasp. Now the clasp is beautiful. Entirely of rose gold. It's really more of a red gold. High polished internally with beautiful wire section frame members. It's very handsome. And with a swing arm that doubles as a spring for the release mechanism, this one's not friction fit. You must positively release it. That's a great security measure, and with the double fold deploying architecture, it's not as susceptible to pinching smaller wrists when buckled down tight. That's the advantage of a double fold deployant. Now you can see the case itself is a combination of sensuous compound curves and strong character lines. The curves you can see with ease, the character lines just as much. There's the step between the bezel and the case flank, but you can also see how the case itself splays out from the bezel. It's actually wider at extremity than it is where the bezel meets the case. So it has a little bit of a rounded bowl shape to it. Likewise, there's a sensuous flow and a sharp downturn to the lug form, but there's this fluted character line that gives it definition. So it's not simply a bosomy, excessively soft or feminine shape. The watch has none of that. The richness of the gold is spectacular and it's beautifully matched by what can best be described as a matte blue metallic cobalt blue dial. Now you can see there is a Ray Hot featuring 0 to 60 seconds, or I should say minutes in this case, since our seconds are of the subdial variety. And then the dial base itself has a pattern that depending on your preference, could either be interpreted as vertically striated waves or scales of a fish. Either way, the nautical theme works. The rich dart style indices are faceted and polished in rose gold, and the hands at center contrast beautifully with the dark blue background. Legibility is excellent. Now there is luminescence here. You have a little bit of luminescence on the outer section of the indices. You can see the facet facing the Ray Hot features a little bit of loom, and then there's loom on the minute and hour hand at center. Beautifully anchored. The watch is slightly quirky in the Ulysse Norden fashion. When I say beautifully anchored, pun intended, the complications really define the dial more than the backdrop, the colors, or even in many cases, the script of the company itself. It's more of a throw-in the primary elements being the double digit date with its strong rose gold aperture surround, the hands at center, the sub seconds, and the 24 hour dial. This shows you your home time. So this is the time where you are not, and it's in a 24 hour format. So after you advance it to 12, it goes on to 13, 14, 15. That's your AM PM indication. Now you can jump the hour hand forward 
or backwards. Let's say you're in London and you want to travel to New York. When you land, you're going to you're going to jump backwards five hours. It's that simple. So you'll also note that when you are advancing the time conventionally, the reference hour advances in sync. You adjust the local time independently with the plus or minus complication. And that combination of the grand date and the GMT plus minus system is a UN classic that and has been since 1995 when they first combined those two functions. Now you'll note the crown not only enables the watch to have a hacking function, stopping the seconds and permitting synchronization to a known accurate reference time, but in its intermediate position, there's a quick set function for the double digit date, and the grand date can be set forward or backwards. Likewise, it can be driven forward or backwards by the plus minus system of the local hour hand, so regardless of which side of midnight you're on when you jump the time zone, you can drive the date forward or backwards to match the hour. On the back, Ulysse Norden's manufacturer caliber UN334, 49 joules, built-in house, automatic winding, with a 48-hour power reserve. Let's find the balance. It features a full dual-anchored balance bridge for timing stability in the face of shock, a free-sprung balance architecture likewise for stability in the face of shock, and to better hold precise regulation over time. It features a silicon hairspring and silicon escapement for long-wearing durability and, in the case of the hairspring, anti-magnetism, so resistance to the flux density that can be created around high-powered wiring looms, home office equipment, speakers, subwoofers, or even refrigerator doors. And of course, modern 4 hertz beat rate. As referenced prior, it also has that quick set in both directions and hacking seconds. And fabricated entirely in-house by Ulysse Norden, it's protected by a dress watch appropriate 30 meters or 3 ATM of water resistance. You can see and you can purchase this Ulysse Norden Classic Dual Time on our website.